Hello, everyone, and welcome back, um, or welcome if this is your first yoga short with me. Um, my name is Dana, and we're just gonna do a fun little quick pre-postnatal flow. Um, but honestly, this is like a good flow to do anytime you're like, I wanna move a little bit, but like not so much and I'm tired. This will just get like your body a little bit moving and grooving, but we're not gonna do anything too crazy. So I recommend having blocks just because when you're pregnant, it's just nice to have more space to like hold yourself up, which is a wonderful thing in all times of life, but especially when you're pregnant. Um, so grab two blocks. I don't think we'll need the blanket. I always just have this here for fun. Um, but yeah, two blocks will be good. And we're gonna start in an all fours position. And you can bring the blocks nearby so you have them. And then find your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And if your hips or if your knees want to go a little bit wider, that's also okay here too. And then as you inhale, you're going to arch your spine for cow pose. And then exhale, round your spine for cat pose. So just taking some really gentle arching and rounding with the spine. We're not trying to do the craziest backbend or rounding of our life. We just want to get some mobility into the spine first thing. And you can shake your head a little or just notice if you're holding any tension in your jaw. I just did a really weird variation on cats and cows. Cool. And just notice how you're pressing down in your hands and feet. Try to have equal weight in all parts of your hand and then all parts of your shins, knees, tops of the toes. Take this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then come back to your neutral spine and we're just going to flip our wrists. So if this feels like a lot, definitely just flip them only 90 degrees, but if you can flip the full 180, keeping your hands underneath your shoulders, slight bend in your elbows, then from there we'll just take circles with our hips. And it really doesn't matter how big these circles are, but I'm already feeling some hip pops and crackles, and your hips are doing a lot all the time to hold you up, your belly up, your baby up. So want to give them a bunch of love. You can circle your head around too. Truly, you can do anything that feels good when you're circling here. And then take circles to the left. You can bring some cat and cow motion. You can go super slow with the circles, make them small, make them really big. Whatever feels good. Just try not to find your head stagnantly tucked uh, into your chest. Either look out or you feel free to circle your head around and move it all around. One more cycle of breath circling. Then come back to center and flip those hands around. Let that settle for a moment. Just get your tabletop still set up really nicely and then grab for your blocks. And where my hands are gonna go on my blocks, I'm just gonna choose to be on the middle height for now, but we can always change it, which is a great thing about yoga, but you just want enough space so that you can hold yourself up. I'm going to even go on the highest height and then just step your right foot forward. So we're coming into like a little lunge. I know we're not coming from down dog, but we'll get into our lunge and your right foot can be a little bit wider so your belly has space to move through. And your hand can just stay on the blocks. You can give your shoulders a little wiggle and roll. Or if you want, you can reach your arms up overhead. And then really strongly reach your fingers to the sky or keeping your hands down, just press your hips forward, getting a nice opening in the front of the left thigh. Take one more cycle of breath. And then step your right foot back in whatever way feels good. And that's why we have the blocks so that you have space to move your um, legs around. Bring your blocks so that they're like shoulder width distance and then just take some rocks forward and back. Just to really get all directions. We've done circles, we've done arching and rounding, but just a little bit of reflection in the hip before we do the other side. 
Great. Next time you come up, bring your blocks back wider so then you have space to step your left shin in. Left shin, left foot forward. Honestly, body parts are hard. And then just wiggle your way into a nice ingenue here. Doesn't need to be the biggest lunge of your life. Widening the left foot if you need it a little bit more. Taking those rocks forward and back. I know we didn't do that on the other side, but something you're craving, great. And then wiggle the shoulders, find your lunge. You can also reach the arms up. I don't want to do that today, so I'm just going to do this. Getting a nice opening in the front of that right hip now. Pressing all five right toes down so you have a lot of surface area on your front, on your back foot. Take one more cycle of breath. Exhaling, step your left knee back. So your legs are a little bit wider than hip width distance. Bring your blocks back shoulder width and then take those rocks forward and back again. If you want to try a different height with your block, Go for it. Try something new. But also here, the most important thing of any of these classes or any time you're doing yoga is to just really listen to your body and if something doesn't feel good, then don't do it. Metaphor for life. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Say no and move away from the thing. Don't like pick up all your stuff and go somewhere. That's dramatic. Okay. <laughs> Come back to neutral. You're going to move the blocks off to the side. Find those hands underneath your shoulders, knees, hip-ish width distance, and then place your hands about a palm print in front of where they are. Bend your knees and stick your butt up to the sky. Nice. This is our first down dog. My feet are even a little bit wider than hip width distance just because my knees were. So feel free to try that just to see what it's like to have a down dog like that. And then bend your knees and stick your butt up. You can shake your head out, less than, yes and no. Take one more deep inhale and exhale and then begin to walk your feet up towards your hands. So you're in a forward fold at the front of your mat. Feet once again wider than hip width distance so you have space for your belly in between your legs. What a concept. And then let everything hang over. If this doesn't feel good, feel free to also place your hands on your thighs and you can rest yourself up like this. That's also gonna give you the nice stretch in the back of your legs. Or you can hang over. Depending on what part of the pregnancy you're into or what part of life you're in. You can give your neck a little bit of a massage. I don't know why I just instinctively started doing that but it felt like a good time. So feel free to do that with your arms. Otherwise, just hang. And then let your arms come down. And then slowly, slowly roll yourself up to stand. Your head is last to lift. Stacking everything on top. Give everything a little shake and wiggle. You can sway your hips from right to left. Hook your thumbs up overhead. Reach your arms up. And then you're going to just take some gentle TikToks from right and left. I'm still working on my TikTok career. You can follow me on TikTok. <laughs> There's nothing that interesting there, but feel free to go take a look and give yourself a little chuckle. Um, we keep going from right to left. Notice how you're standing on your feet. You want to find yourself in the middle of each foot as you're rocking. Take one more to either side. And we'll all meet back in the middle, slight bend in your knees, and then just let your arms just drop down by your sides. Give your shoulders a roll back and forward. Inhale, reach the arms up, press palms together overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Cool. From here, you're gonna grab one of your blocks again and place it on the highest height. Or if you have a book, just place a book on its highest height in front of you. An encyclopedia or a dictionary is really good for yoga. You're gonna find your left hand either on the block or on fingertips, and then inhale, reach your right arm up. Swim, exhale, swim the arm down. Replace your left hand with your right. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, swim 
yourself down. And just keep going like this. Try to keep your hips super square. If you are close to a wall, you can always stick your hips up against a wall when we do these swims, and you know you're only twisting from the up body, the up body, the upper body, <laughs> instead of the lower body. And these are just nice, gentle, open twists, which are really good to do. Take one more to either side. Do, do, do. And then once you're done that, you can move the block away. Let yourself hang and take your time to come back into a downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Take a few more moments and breaths here. Feel free to rock your hips from right to left. Pedaling out your feet. And on your next inhale, place your knees down, untuck the toes and come into a child's pose. Letting everything just melt in between your thighs. Doesn't matter how low you go. If you wanna take those blocks, you can put one under your chest, maybe one under your head just to Give a little variation and maybe create more space, but you can literally do anything. That was our last down dog. So we're just gonna come into one little bit of breath work after this child's pose. And most breath work is totally fine to do during pregnancy. You just don't wanna do any short, sharp exhales, but the breath work we're gonna do is a very calming one that works for all sides, parts, any time of life. So gently begin to bring yourself up and find a comfortable seat. So you can either sit on a cushion cross-legged. I'm going to sit in Virasana with the block in between my heels just because I want to but you can do anything. So. so once you're seated, choose whatever seat is most comfortable. You can even sit in a chair. Um, you're gonna find your right hand on, have your right thumb on your right nostril and your right forefinger on your left nostril. Your pointer finger and middle finger will come in between your eyebrows. Left pinky can hang out. And we're gonna do a breath work called Nadi Shodhana which is alternate nostril breathing. So we're going to inhale through one nostril, exhale through the other, inhale through the other, exhale through the other. You'll follow along and listen and it'll be great. So you feel free to close your eyes and just listen. As you inhale, you'll press down on your right nostril, inhale through the left, close both nostrils, lift the right thumb, exhale out the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Close both. Exhale out the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Hold. Exhale out the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Hold. Exhale out the left nostril. And just keep going on your own for a few more rounds. Noticing how your nervous system might be calming a little bit. You're feeling a little bit more centered. Inhaling and exhaling through either side helps find that middle. Helps you mediate through the right and left to find the third piece, which is the middle. So take one more round to either nostril, just making sure that you're even, so about the same number of inhales through both nostrils. And when you finish that, your right hand can come back down on your lap, palms can be face up or face down. Eyes still closed or really soft gaze. Now 
coming back to your normal breath. And to close, we'll bring our hands to press together at the center of our chest. And just taking a moment to be in awe of all that our bodies do for us every single day. Pregnancy or not, the bodies are an amazing thing. They fight for us, they involuntarily do things so we stay alive. And doing yoga helps us bring that mind-body connection so we're really living in harmony with what our body and mind both want. Because sometimes our mind gets ahead of our body and then we're not doing what our body needs and we'll end up getting sick. We don't want to be sick. We want to be happy and healthy, as Olivia Rodrigo would say. So just take a moment noticing, giving gratitude to your body and mind, how they work together, how sometimes they might work apart. Then we'll bring our thumb knuckles up to third eye center, and we'll end practice with a final bow. Thank you all so much. Wherever you are, or wherever you're doing, I hope it was just a good, like, little mini groove. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.